Hi everyone, welcome to practice problem note 01. This one is going to require you to do some journal entries related to notes and interest payable. So here we go. On September 15th, 2019, Flyer Inc. borrowed $350,000 by writing a six-month, 2% note with interest due at maturity. Your goal is to record all journal entries necessary over the life of Flyer Inc.'s note, assuming Flyer Inc follows a normal calendar year for their fiscal year. All right, take a moment, pause the video, try this out on your own, and when you're ready, come on back. I'll walk you through the solution. All right, welcome back. So here we go. The first date that we are going to record a journal entry related to this note is on the day we signed it. So September, it's 9, 15th, 2019 in this case. Flyercore borrowed $350,000, so that means we are getting cash, debit cash, $350,000. And we did it by signing a note agreeing to pay later. We call that a note payable for $350,000. So that is our first journal entry. It does not matter that the life is six months. It doesn't matter that it pays 2% interest. On the day when you first borrow the money, you simply get the cash, record the liability for the principal. All right, the next time we are going to need a journal entry. This is a six-month note. So if it started on September 15th, then we count our months. We'll have October 15th, November 15th, December 15th, January 15th, February 15th, and finally March 15th. So March is going to be when this note finally comes due. However, there's going to be a hiccup because Flyer Inc.'s fiscal year follows a normal calendar year, which means they're going to close their books on December 31st of this year. And when they close those books, they are going to have to do an analysis of whether or not there are any revenues or expenses related to the current year, 2019, that need to still get recorded in that year, that haven't been recorded yet. And so we're going to fast forward here, 1231.19. And the reason we're going to need a journal entry this day, specifically for this note, is remember that this note is racking up interest at a rate of 2% per year. Notice it does not say APR, it does not say per year. When silent, percentages are assumed to be annual rates. So this note is racking up interest at 2% per year. So if we do a little bit of math on that, we would see that we have a $350,000 note times 0.02 or 2%. Pull out my calculator for this one. 350,000 times 0.02 comes out to $7,000 in interest. Remember, per year. Now, at the point that we get to December 31st, this note has been around for half of September because we started it midway through September. It has been around for October, it has been around for November, and it has been around for the full month of December. So this note has existed for three and a half months when we get to December 31st, which means we need to record three and a half months of this $7,000 of interest. If the interest is $7,000 per year, we can multiply that by 3.5 out of 12, or three and a half months out of 12 months, because 12 months represent a full year. So times 3.5 divided by 12. And that is going to give us, I'm going to round this, a very ugly number, 2,040. We'll round that to 42. And that is the interest for 2019. So for our journal entry, we are going to record interest expense because we have incurred this cost in 2019 for $2,042. We are not paying it that day. Notice according to the problem, interest is due at maturity, so not till March 15th. So instead we're going to record interest payable which we will then pay off when we finally get to March. So that is our December 31st adjusting entry. Next time we need a date, it will be that payoff when we get to March 15th of 2020. On this day, 
we are getting rid of the note payable. So that liability will go away, the full principal balance. We are going to pay off that interest payable that we established at the end of the last year. So interest payable, 2042. And one last step, we incurred additional interest expense that we will also have to pay. Because remember, we recorded interest expense on 1231. It is now March 15th. It has been another two and a half months. Now be careful here because it's easy to get caught up and be like, oh, it's been three and a half months because you see that three, right, for March 15th. But remember, it has only been the full month of January, the full month of February, and half of March since we recorded that interest expense on December 31st. So it has been two and a half more months. So just like we did this calculation over here, we're going to have to do the same thing again. $7,000 per year times 2.5 out of 12 for two and a half months of interest. 7,000 times 2.5 divided by 12. And that comes out to 1458. And then of course, that is the interest expense for 2020, 1458. And finally, all of these things are getting paid out in one lump sum cash payment. So we're gonna have a grand total of 350 for the principal, plus another uh, 3,500 for the uh, uh, interest. So three, five, three, five hundred is the total cash payout. Now, a lot of times students will ask me, wait a minute, but you only added up 3,500 in interest, but this, this, this note is supposed to earn 7,000 in interest. But again, remember that is 7,000 in interest per year. The note only had a lifespan of six months, half a year which means you're only gonna get half a year's worth of interest by the time the note is due. So there are three journal entries for notes and their related interest payable. All right, that's it for this one. I hope you found it helpful and I hope you join me for another.